What's up guys, welcome to Wrong Angling. Today I'm out here at Wolf Lake. I've never been out here before. Buddy back here, Travis, told me about it and glad he did. Uh, I've already seen bass around the shoreline. Like it's gonna, I think it's gonna be a good day. It looks really good out here. And uh, there's nobody else out here. I mean, just nobody else, just us. So uh, that's awesome. I'm gonna shut up, drop the kayaks in the water and we're gonna get to fishing. Yeah. I was gonna work my way down this rock bank and I was till the Yeah. Oh god, I didn't put the plugs in that thing. Come back, come back. I'm joking, I'm joking. I was like, oh god, you went. Alright guys, finally made it. As you can see the water is pretty far down right now. I don't know how that'll fit fishing wise, but here in Kentucky there is a bit of a drought, so that being said, all the oxygen is at the in the shallow waters. Should hook onto some. I have seen them across these banks. You know how it goes fishing. Just gotta find them. I have this new Grande crankbait. I lost my regular banger. There he is. Hooked up, Travis. Ooh, pretty bass. All right, first Wolf Lake bass. First of many, hopefully. Gotta try out this Senko here. Shout out to Bass Whopping's tip video if it actually works. I'm getting ate up right now. I got him. I got him. Yeah, I got him. Oh. Look what a warm out. Well, big old warm mouth or big green sunfish or something. Warm mouth. Yeah, I don't know. Warm mouth. Unexpected. Nets fish. Hooked up, baby. All right, he wanted a little Sakoshi bug jig. So this is just the second fish I've caught. I've been out here a little while. The first fish came on a crankbait pretty quick and then went through a lot of different baits and nothing has seemed to really produce a whole lot of bites, but nice little jig fish. I have found them. I think I keep catching the same same fish over. You think so? <laughs> no, <laughs> they just all about the same size. Yeah, they one bass in here. I've caught it three times, guys. I 
It was a decent one. No, it's not. Oh. <laughs> that little one, I felt him trying to heat it. He didn't get it all the way. There you are, you little fucker. You go blue on them, Travis. They've been all about the same size. Yeah. All right. Oh, he got it. Cool. There's one. These guys are in here and they're hungry. I missed one. I got him. Did a whoop a floop a fish. Ah, he bit me. He bit me. Look at them damn chompers he's got on him. Look at them damn thing. Think he did. Broke the corner the right time. The one I got. Dang it, I wasn't recording. Somebody wasn't recording, but as you can tell, he wanted to whoop a floop At least I can get a release on him. Nah, I didn't weigh him. He probably about a pound, maybe if that. I wasn't recording, I was just telling the camera I forgot to press car, damn it. Alright, thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed that. Um I had a lot of fun catching those little dink bass out there at Wolf Lake. Uh it's beautiful out there. I loved it. And uh nice change of scenery for me. It was a little bit of a drive, but um I'd probably go there again. If you fish there, let me know in the comment section. Tell me what all you've caught out there. Tell me how big it was. Just tell me what you used. If you actually caught a spoonbill out of there, tell me how you done it, because I definitely would like to know how to catch a spoonbill out of there. I think that'd be wild. All right, um, I was supposed to put my giveaway video up, but I'm still doing the giveaway at 150, uh, but I'm gonna do it next. I done had this video edited, so I'm gonna go ahead and post this one, and then I'll start working on my giveaway video after this one's up. All right, wrong angling. Like, comment, subscribe, get on the water, and Gucci song.